Could this be some jungle hideaway? No! We're on the roof of the San Francisco 49ers new home, Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, California. It's the first stadium in the NFL to feature a living roof, a canopy of green and flowery plants that reduces energy use by providing natural insulation. And it's one of many features of the new stadium that aims to not only upgrade the team's former home at Candlestick Park, but also to be the most environmentally friendly in the NFL. We did a lot of this because uh, we want to, but we also did it because based on where we are in the Silicon Valley, it's, yeah. it's sort of our mandate to build a stadium that fans here, want, people from the Bay Area want. If it wasn't uh, you know, environmentally uh, responsible, then you know, it just, we wouldn't be a success. To see if the 49ers succeeded, we put on our hard hats for a sneak peek at the new facility. The first thing many visitors will notice are the parking lots. While there are more than there were at Candlestick, there's plenty of parking, there's enough space. The 49ers will encourage fans to take public transportation to games and events, which should prove to be much easier than it was at Candlestick. For fans who need to drive or want to tailgate, the parking lot offers a feature to help offset that carbon footprint. Plug-ins for uh, electric cars, charging stations. The sweet tower itself also was designed to be eco-friendly. So the reason we have the sweet tower, uh, at, you know, all, all the suites on one side is so it's really economies of scale, it's creating more efficiency because you need um, less water, you need less resources, you need less personnel in one concentrated area. The walls of the Towers Club suites are made from woods recycled from the retired giant Zeppelin hangar at Moffett Field just up the freeway and the stadium seats were manufactured at local facilities in part to save on fuel. The seats were actually made 10 miles down the road in Fremont, California, rather than across the country or in a different country. Then there's the playing field itself. We use a particular type of grass that also is uh, you know, 50% more efficient, meaning it requires 50% less water than your average, uh, than your standard football field grass. It hadn't been planted yet at the time of our visit, but it will be irrigated by recycled toilet water traveling through this network of purple pipes, just like the Leafy Club Suite rooftop. If you were to look up, there are 49 sections of solar panels uh, that are mounted above this green roof, purely by coincidence. Those panels, along with more solar panels lining the pedestrian bridges from the parking lot, will help the 49ers power all their home games completely by a year-round collection of solar energy, officials say. Of course, some Niner fans will surely miss the old candlestick, but officials promise there's a lot to look forward to at Levi's. For instance, Morath says the Wi-Fi strength will be a marked improvement over the sluggish experience people usually encounter in packed sports arenas. And a new Levi's Stadium app will allow visitors to view instant replays and get food brought to their seats during the game. And that's not just for premium ticket holders. We're doing it every seat in the house. It's for everybody. Knows but everybody. Really? Yep. And even if you can't pay top dollar for a spot in the sweet tower, I'll challenge you to find a bad seat in the house. So no matter where you sit, the 49ers promise all fans and visitors an optimum and eco-friendly game day experience.